Well, I'm in the process of loading some mows and ammo up. But I had watched a video this morning from Gun Geek on some comments that somebody had made on somebody else's video talking about a Mosin, the 9130s being, you know, unsafe to shoot. <laughs> I tell you, they ain't unsafe to shoot. They're built, you know, like a rock. I mean, they're typical Russian overbuild, uh, much like my tractor is. You know, they make things heavy. Uh, they ain't unsafe to shoot, they're unsafe to carry. You know, with that long pointy bayonet, you take out light fixtures and snag the curtains, poke holes in upholstery. That's the only unsafe thing about Mosin. Now, in one of their chats, 314 299 was talking about the Lee Auto Prime. You know, and I use one all the time and, and they work very well. You know, the only downside to these is they, they did a poor design job on these covers. You know, so these little tabs that they use to hold these covers on will break off. Uh, your best bet is to keep some tape handy or a big rubber band. You know, like even on, they come with two trays and on a small pistol primer one, you can see where the plastic is fracturing around it. It hasn't broken yet, but it's that hard plastic that can't take flexing and in order to come off, you know, it has to flex. You know, because these little tabs just go around part way, so they will break off. But the unit itself works good. It's just that that design is not the best in the world. You know, they're, like I say, they should come with a rubber band or something. Because like, rubber band will do the job or tape will do the job. Otherwise, I like them. They work very well. Though you do have to remember that you have to buy the Auto Prime shell holders. They're different for each different caliber. Well, you know, some of them, like my one that works for the, you know, one will cover several different calibers. But these sets are pretty nice to have because you can, uh, you know, you can get them pretty cheap instead of buying individual ones. You know, it comes with, what is it, must be a dozen of them. But I've had to buy several extras. And I did find that like for my cousin's 5070, I couldn't get the Auto Prime shell holder, but I was able to take a regular shell holder and grind that part off and thin it down slightly, and then it worked in the Auto Prime. So you could make do with them. But they do make priming a lot easier. Uh, and, you know, he was going to do a video on them, so I won't go into them too much, but they are, they are handy. Uh, makes priming much easier. It's actually one of the first extras I bought because I've been happy with it and they aren't that expensive. But one other thing I was going to mention, other than that <laughs> Moses being on tape, it just kills me. Uh, Fuzzy Fork is one of them that dropped out of YouTube kind of, but he still watches. And he had sent me a link to a video on some new bullets. They're being made by a company called G2. Uh, they're uh, called an RIP. You know, and it, it's the initial stand in theory for something, but it's actually kind of a play on on words. But this isn't one of them that I was going to show you. What they are, they're kind of like a hollow, and then they've got eight segments to them and so when they hit something these eight segments pedal out break off and fly out and they'll cover I think it's like an eight inch area and then the solid projectile still keeps going so you've got actually nine projectiles in one but looking at the promotional literature that they sent out that's just a, a dream for lawyers. I mean, the lawyers are going to make so much money on this. If you shot somebody with one of those, 
uh, a jury would hang you. It, it would be just a nightmare because you know that's overkill. There, there's a limit to common sense there. You know, I know there was a. You know, it's just it, it's overkill, just completely overkill. And I know a lot of people aren't going to agree with that. They're going to think, okay, yeah, you need the, the most maximum of destructive. But I tell you, it, that's you know, there's a line. It's like like you can't define art, but you know it when you see it. I know there's a line there, and that's it. You know, those those are over the line. So I don't expect they'll be on the market for a long time, though. Now they are sold out of them, I believe. I think every place I looked, they weren't available. Not that I was going to buy any, and I was just curious on the price. And, and they were like two and a quarter to two fifty a piece, you know, per shell if you can find them. And I think they're only for a nine millimeter now, but they're going to be making all kinds of them. They're one of these, you know, personal defense rounds. But like I say, they're they're just over that line. But they get away with a lot of that, like. I had bought some of these, these plus P double tap DT defense rounds for the nine millimeter, and there again you're talking they were like a buck a piece, a little over a buck a piece. But you know people are really into this you know critical defense crap, you know, and these are just a simple, straightforward hollow point. They got a little snap to them, but like I said, those other ones, that's just. Going too far, but it'll be interesting to see. But I know people are going to think, "Well, I need you know, you got to have those. Or you got to have the most maximum destructive." But they're going to get into the hands of people who uh, shouldn't have them. Can you imagine, like in in like those movie theater or shopping mall shootings? Because there's no. They're like like the Humpty Dumpty thing. There's no putting somebody back together with the, you know you get hit with one of them. You know, turning an eight inch hole in somebody with them little claws going out. You know, I was thinking about them because somebody had talked about copper bullets and what the overall length the difference would be on them. And and I honestly don't know. I've never dealt with them. I'm sure Barnes would have it listed though. I'm, you know, they'd have that responsibility of having the, the loading info out on them. But these things, it, it you know, it's one of the things the world doesn't need. Makes me think there was one time I had heard on the news, I think it happened out on the western end of the state, there's kind of an oil boom going on out there. And there was like a half dozen cops had surrounded somebody. I think this was a some kind of a drug bust or something, and they thought he might be armed, you know, so there was a half dozen cops after him. I finally get him cornered, and they let drive. Well, I can't remember. Now, they didn't kill him, I think, but I think somebody finally did hit him. But, you know, all the cops emptied their guns, and he, at the end of the deal, the thing that caught my attention was they said that, you know, two of the cops were treated for bullet wounds. Well, okay, now the guy was unarmed, so these cops were shot by other cops. But, you know, it is the deal, oh, get in a panic, start just, empty the gun. Now, can you imagine if those were those R.I.P.? You know, because you're going to blow off limbs, you're going to, you know, it's just, just way overkill. You know, a lot of times in those shooting incidents, there'll, there'll be, you know, so many slightly wounded, so many killed, you know, this sort of thing. There's not going to be slight wounds with those. You know, it just, but I can't imagine, you go in front of, a courtroom, even if it's a, a justified shooting, uh, if you were using those, you're going into it with an attitude that is not going to be acceptable. Uh, so I'll be curious to see how this works out. And I, I know, like I say, a lot of people aren't going to agree with that. A lot of people are going to say, oh, yeah, you got to have the maximum. But it's like at a time where they talked about taking uh, like a hollow point bullet filling the tip with mercury and then sealing it up. And then when these, these hit, this mercury would spatter and go 
throughout somebody's system and you could never get it out. So if the bullet, even a slight wound, they were going to die from the mercury poisoning. You know, it, it, if it didn't kill them right now, it would kill them later. You know, but stuff like that, I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's overkill. I know, uh, you know, it's one of them things where the military couldn't even do it. You know, it, it, you can't justify it. And I can't imagine in the civilian market, and law enforcement even, I mean, if, if cops start using those bullets, there again, there's going to be lawsuits because that's just over the top. But like I say, a lot of people won't agree. A lot of people like to go for the top. But I'm going to get these reloaded and go out. But I'm not too worried about shooting my Mosin. All I got to do is get it out the door. <laughs>